Matt Aguilar here from comicbook.com. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking to Law & Order organized crime star Rick Gonzalez. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, thank you so much for, for making the time. And uh, I'm super pumped. I, I'm one of uh, comic book's uh, big law and order people uh, i cover all the <laughs> all the shows and uh you know it's, it's awesome i've loved what organized crime has done this season uh excited for the, for you know more to come uh in 2024 just kind of jumping back a little bit uh to when you sure. first joined the show um, i know you had been mm -hmm. a part of the franchise before um in a very like small in a very like small role but what what excited you about kind of jumping into this character on on oc um what got me excited was uh the character of bobby reyes uh, i spoke with uh uh the showrunner brian Golabal um back in Jan july last year uh 2023 and uh, he's very excited about creating a character that was um you know kind of mysterious um somebody who was I don't want to say a Swiss army knife, but just somebody who is um, very dark, uh, has a lot in his path, um, and is somebody who can um, seriously contribute to the squad. Um, and um, there were elements that I was excited that he was explaining to me on the phone. And um, I had sort of like, I kind of didn't want to like do television. Like I was mm -hmm. sort of like, well, no, I wouldn't say television, but I would just say like there was just like a certain aspect to like characters that I was sort of sort of looking for and that I wanted to be a part of. And so when I when I spoke with Brian, like he was kind of touching on like things that I was actually like, oh, that's that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think when he explained Bobby to me, it just kind of made sense. And um, it, it was sort of like giving me full reign and control to sort of like create someone that we both probably were going to have fun um, working on. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that was sort of like the initial thing. And, um, and I said, like, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Well, and like you said, you, you've had, you know, uh, free reign has, has the character kind of changed over time from when you first jumped in to now, because, you know, it feels like, it, you know, it always takes a minute for yeah. a new character to kind of get worked into the mix and you start seeing how they interact with other people. I will say Bobby, it didn't, it didn't really take that, that long, you know, I mean, aside from <laughs> like, just trying to figure out where the dude was. Cause like, he's got the Batman thing just kind of vanished one second, you know, in the, and out the other. Um, right. But did, has the character kind of changed for you or how you approach it over, over time now that you played him for a little bit? I think that's true in terms of television. Like, um, as writers, they sort of, uh, continue, you know, they have this template, right? This idea of like, okay, this is our guy. Uh, but as the, as you start to, you know, put up episodes on television and as you start to start to see, uh, what we call dailies is like, you know, um, rough footage of what we shoot, you know, and then you start to see that come to life. You start to make decisions, right? And you say, oh, I think we should go actually go this direction, you know. Um, so it's always a collaborative effort of what the actor is doing, uh, what the writer sees, what the director sees, what the producers see, um, and everyone sort of puts their head together and they sort of like, oh, okay, I, oh, that's that's where we should go. Um, and I think for me, yeah, it was sort of, um, I think with Bobby, uh, more was true about the initial idea of what we wanted for him. And I think we sort of kind of stayed there a little bit. I think we did push him a little bit. I think towards the end of um, the end of the season, we sort of uh, wanted more levity for him. And I think the idea was, well, how could we find some sort of humor for him as well? Right. Um, just to kind of balance him out. Um, and I think they sort of try that aspect to sort of see if that works, you know, and I do think that it, that there is room in television to sort of throw things at the wall and see if it sticks, you know, um, and see what the audience feels. I personally, for me, feel like that's kind of like in the world of law and order. I think that's interesting because um, the original is so locked into the cases and right. and you sort of 
um, don't really get the chance to sort of explore the characters so much because we sort of lock in who they are from the beginning. And then as long as we're following these cases, you kind of know what the characters want and where they're going. Um, and I think with us, we sort of always had the intention of sort of discovering our characters as we move along this show. And I think that was sort of the exciting thing about me wanting to be a part of this world, uh, especially with Bobby was like the idea of like, who is he? And, um, you know, like, why does he want to be a part of this unit? Yeah, and it's funny, too, that you mentioned that, because with the original series coming back, it's more it's it's almost like we've seen that flagship series kind of take on more elements of mm. SVU and organized crime in that way. SVU always had that. You always got a little bit of the characters, you know, like you, sure, you always sure. had, you, you're able to see in and then OC is just like. You know, there's whole like aspects like Stabler's life that we've been able to to really see in between all these things. And that's what makes the show different. It's awesome to see that. See it, have that prism seen through with all these other characters in the supporting cast that has come in and really, you know, it feels like a team now. You know, I I feel like in the first season, the first couple episodes, you're getting you're feeling everybody out and it Mm -hmm. feels like, you know, I don't know these people yet. And now, you know, it feels very much like like a family. Um, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a cool thing to see. And OC, I feel like has carved out its own space. Uh, but it is funny that you mentioned levity because we've seen some of those things tried this season. And then, you know, this season ends in like a, like a super, <laughs> a super depressing place. Um, yeah. Some heavy stuff, you know, and, and your character's right in the middle of it um, with, with Whelan and everything that goes on there was, you know, did you kind of know that was coming up? I don't know how far like ahead you guys get scripts or if you get them all at once. I don't know how that kind of works. Um, yeah, that that was um, we didn't kind of know until like um, while we were shooting. Oh, okay. And so, wow. yeah, so it just there's just so many moving parts, you know, and just so, um, you know, things change and decisions are, are always um made on the fly you know and so we didn't find out till till very late and um you know the idea was to pivot and to just sort of um uh follow follow the story and go after you know the story and i think for me i was uh kind of um following um following brent you know i think for me it was just sort of like you know grabbing him by his shoulders and saying, let's go, you know, um, and let's really give Waylon like this, the, the correct send off. I think, I think the, the idea was just sort of, sort of, um, honor his character in a way, you know? Uh, and I think ultimately, like, I think more so just, we just, what I respect about the cast is like, they care about telling stories. And I think that's, at the end of the day, that's that's what we all care about. That's why we do what we love. You know, it's just this is telling a story, you know, and we just want to make it as compelling as possible. And so the idea is like, let's just go for it. Well, and, you know, when we go into I mean, we, we even see in the finale that it's having a huge effect on on Bobby, on on the rest of the team. Um, yeah. And especially Jet. And, you know, there's there's so many people all are having their own trying to process in their own way just in the finale. How is yeah. what can you tease about, you know, how that's going to how Bobby's going to carry that or if he's going to carry that, you know, kind of going into the next season? You know, Bobby's really good about, you know, kind of being in the thick of it having to kind of compartmentalize. Is that something he's also going to be doing, you know, moving forward with this? That's a good question. I, I'm not entirely sure how um, he's going to process it. Um, and that's, I, I haven't had those conversations with uh, um, the powers that be, you know, on where Bobby will be. I think historically and what we've established with him is someone who's been through a lot and seen a lot and has processed a lot. Um, and I think sometimes emotionally, um, uh, emotions can get sort of locked up like scar tissue and just really hardened. And I think with him, he's someone 
and this is why I was excited about him was like someone who's had many of these moments that we've seen on the show before in his life. And uh, it's hardened him in, in a certain way. Uh, and what makes him redeeming is someone who still has this uh, noble notion to um, want to be better, you know, to want to fight through the hardness of how he feels. Um, and, and I think that'll be true for next season. You know, I think there's got to be some sort of hope inside of him to like keep moving forward. I don't think he knows how to do that, maybe. And I think maybe he might have to find that uh, information from others. Um, but I, I do think like he's someone who's, it, it's, it's going to affect him, you know, and I think it'll just be another chink in the armor, you know, another piece, you know, another hole in the belt for him to just notch on and just keep moving forward with, you know, that he'll have to carry and it, it'll be weighed on him. And I think for me, when I talked to Brian Goloboff about the character, I think it was the exciting part was showing someone who walks with everything that they've gone through. Um, and what does that look like? You know, um, Bobby's been a part of many different units in the past. We've established him as someone who's very savvy and, and um, knows a lot about different departments, auto crime and, you know, vice and just different sections of, of law enforcement and, and how he's, and what he's seen in those places, not to mention what he's gone through as a, as a young adult and as a young person. For sure. Um, and, you know, moving into something a little, uh, a little less heavy, uh, yeah. you know, the, the, the series, it, w- it was great to see all three shows come together to kind of kick yeah. off the season. Um, and it was especially cool to see, you know, OC, like the entire kind of team really in on the fun you know we've seen characters like one character kind of move over here or for a guest starring role but that was really the first time we'd seen all three shows really um connect yeah yeah, really connect in that way and mix and and all that um how was that whole you know process I, i imagine it's something that you know you mentioned there's always a lot of moving parts but especially in something like that that's kind of so broad how was that yeah. whole experience? Do you have any kind of memories from the from the set on that whole thing? Yeah, mine was very brief. Um, I had Brett and I uh, were at the end of the uh, SVU crossover event um, where we show up in Ohio, and um, you know, I, both shows sort of work in their own in their own way in, in terms of like OC and SVU and. Uh, so they sort of have everything mapped out for you at, at, at SVU, you know. So Brent and I walk in, you know, uh, into the scene to rehearse it. And, uh, you know, instead of sort of what we do on OC is we sort of figure out the blocking and blocking, meaning like where we stand and like our characters and how we're going to move within the scene. And um, and with them, I mean, to tip th- to that, tip my hat to them, like they knew where the scene was, they knew what they wanted from us. You know, it was a pretty simple scene, I guess, but nonetheless, like, you know, there was nothing to really discuss. It was like, just walk right here. (laughs) Cameras are already set up. (laughs) It's like, there's nothing, we need to get this done, you know? So it's a (laughs) well-oiled machine. There's no games being played. There's no time to, to, to figure stuff. We got this. So, um, and obviously, right. I mean, you know, Mariska has been, been there for a very long time, knows what she wants. Um, Chris has done this a long time with her. So, um, yeah, it was just, it was brief, but it was, it was nice to see Mariska again. Um, I hadn't seen her since I was what, 19. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, so it was, uh, interesting, you know, it's just kind of a weird full circle moment. Very sweet. Um, cast was great. Crew is awesome. Um, I think, you know, they know what they want over there, you know, and I think that was sort of, and not that we don't, I think we just sort of, because of the nature of our show and, and the idea of us wanting to explore our characters within the story, it allows us to sort of like, we have this sort of time to figure it out. Whereas right. like, they're just such a, a machine and they just like, hey, we're going here. And we're like, no problem. You tell me where to go. I'll be <laughs> staying right there. No problem at all. 
<laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, it's great. I mean, I remember walking in and I just, I stand, I stood next to uh, Mariska and I see Brent keep going and I'm like, oh, I, right. I'll keep going. You know, it's just <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of thing, you know, like, I just want to stand next to the guys. I want to get in the conversation. Yeah, you know? I know. Absolutely. <laughs> That's yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably be like Brett, but I'd want to yeah. be like you. <laughs> I'm not, I'd be like, Oh man, that was a good idea. Damn it. I've already walked too far. <laughs> I, like, I, I think we should be in this conversation. They're like, no, 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 no. You could be in a conversation <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, You know, and what's it, it, you know, OC coming back or OC beginning was such a big thing with Chris coming back uh, to the yeah. to the franchise. And, um, you know, it really, but it really doesn't, you know, anymore, you know, it felt obviously it was such a big deal when he came back and like, hey, we're, you know, his show feels like built, you know, around him. And, and it was especially because it was tied to his own, the character story and, you know, Kathy and all those things. So it really felt like a, you know, a stabler show and then now yes. you look at it and it's like no that's that's organized crime like you you look at it because it's you know really filled out the the and you've gotten to know everybody um but what's it been like working with with chris on this and like you said the show isn't afraid to kind of play in the sandbox um and that's what makes it different that's what sets it apart but what's it been like working with you know uh, one of the you know law and order ogs and yet you're doing a show that in essence is probably the most different of all of the of all of the shows yeah i i think you know working with him is sort of uh it's it's great in that you know the idea is um what is this show you know and i think with him he's always sort of challenging the idea of like where 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 do we belong and what do we want to say as a show you know and i think He's definitely somebody who also wants the characters to have development, you know, wants to see who they are and um, and how they contribute to the show. And I think that, you know, is important, you know, as someone who is the lead of a TV show, um, because I think balance is important, you know, in, in terms of telling a story. Um, and, you know, as an audience member, like, when you are caring about the lead of your show and then you have moments where you step away from them and you see other characters, like how does that lend to the story and how does that give and take from it? And if it all gives, then we're winning, you know? And I think um, he sort of care he cares about that. You know, I think uh, many conversations about, you know, where, where are we, how do we feel? Is this the right choice? Um, and, and many levels too, with writers, with directors, producers, with actors, you know, I think he's very, um, he's someone who's very keyed in and, and wants to have these conversations. So, um, yeah, I think that's super important. You know, I think, um, and that was something I saw when I was very young working with them, you know, was, uh, him and Mariska was very, they cared a lot about, you know, guest stars and, you know, their tones and what they wanted from what they saw, you know, and how that helped the story. And uh, yeah, I think that's important, man. I think, you know, that's, you, you can't ask for anything more from a lead. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I know I got to let you get out of here. Uh, this has been amazing. Uh, two quick ones uh, for you. Because uh, looking ahead, obviously, uh, hoping that we get another of these crossovers. And, and the season was great because it actually had kind of mini crossovers in between everything. Um, so it would yeah. be like one show interacting or a character moving over. Uh, if, uh, you know, when the show comes back, is there someone from Law & Order flagship or SVU that you would love to get over into OC for an episode? Uh, you know, we saw Amanda Rollins jump in for a little bit. That was really fun. Yeah, uh, right. So is there is there anyone currently on the group that you would love to have jump in there? It's a good question. Um, we did get to work with ice. I, I did work with ice briefly when he came over to us, which was cool. So that I, I think we, I think I did that already. Cause I would say ice, but I did that. So um, <laughs> ice is always the I mean, same answer. <laughs> oh man. He's awesome. Um, I, I think it'd be kind of cool if um, if Reyes and um, 
Sam Waterston's character sort of did something together. You know, I was hoping you'd I say Jack. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think that'd be kind of iconic, you know, just to kind of have them, you know, and it's very different worlds, obviously, you right. know, so maybe it'd be kind of cool to have an episode where, you know, Reyes is on a, doing something, you know, on, on a case and, and Waterston's trying to help him, you know, and that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong with Jack. That's a, nah, that's a nah. money. Um, yeah. And and uh, second one, um, obviously, you are also uh, a official, you know, member of the of the DC universe. You know, yeah. uh, Arrowverse. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of kind of wrapping up. You know, for we're kind of seeing you know Legends and 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 Arrow and Flash. Obviously, kind of came to a yeah. uh, conclusion this season. Yeah. Um, how do you look back on? on like your time and in, in that now that you've had like a little bit of uh time away from it do you you know it was it was such a it it really feels like it was such an era yeah. of, of dc just dc you know that it took over everything and we got crisis we got so many things that came out of that uh, how do you look at, yeah. at that yeah that's a good question um well i look at it with endearment for sure you know i look at it like wow i I was a part of that, you know, that's monumental, you know, and I'm pretty sure as I get older and time passes, that'll get, those memories will be fonder and I'll appreciate it even more, you know, that the, the feelings will be deeper, but yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's just been, it's a blessing that I've got to play, especially a character that no one's really heard of that I was able to take something new or something you know, and just introduce it, you know, uh, that was, that's a big deal for me. Um, uh, a Latino character, you know, someone, you know, that young people could be like, man, he was cool. He became, he was wild dog vigilante then became the mayor. Like the, the story was, was, was awesome. Um, you know, uh, a lot of the, the, the stories in terms of some of the stories with wild dog, I, I probably in hindsight kind of wish they were a little bit different. Um, but you know, I, I think, in, it, you know, at the end of the day, just being a part of it was such a blessing and I've made great friends from, from being a part of that show. And, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, very grateful because Arrow sort of like really grounded me in a way that, you know, I, in terms of acting, I've never played anything like that before in my career. So to play someone like, you know, Renee was not that it was challenging, but it was just like, wow, like we're here now, you know, and uh, and I get to like play in this pool and like, you know, do crazy things, stunts and fight and, and you know, and and then be a father and then, you know, interact with the flash and like it's it just like all this stuff is just insane. And uh, yeah, it was, and I said this before, I'm pretty sure I've said this to you guys before is like the idea of like that kid in me that was collecting comics at eight, nine years old was, was alive, you know, and that's a surreal thing. Um, and that's something I talked to Mark Guggenheim a lot about was just, you know, like it's, it's crazy to think, you know, that we can take this character and we can just, you know, for me, wild dog was like, you know, poor man's Wolverine, you know, just like, you know, to me, I just, I wanted him to be so brooding and fun and aggressive and, to interact in certain ways. And, and I get a kick out of how some people just feel like they didn't like him a lot. And I'm like, yes, good. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just, I just wanted to just like, you know, just mess with, you know, just mess things up, you know? So it was fun. No, oh, well, uh, that's amazing. And, uh, you know, congrats on, on everything happening with organized crime and uh, cannot wait to see the series come back and all the best success. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you